Really, the day after Thanksgiving, the entire atmosphere changes. Um, all of a sudden, there's uh, expectation and the movies and commercials, and really, uh, everyone's reality begins to kind of rotate around this Christmas season. And, and, and really, from every commercial to every movie to every show to every that, that starts to cross our path, there's this kind of real idyllic kind of picture of what's going to happen at Christmas time. Like, right at the last moment, all of our dreams are going to come true, and all of our relationships are going to be repaired, and it's going to be this season of uh, just joy and everything broken is going to come back together and they're going to be Christmas miracles. And uh, th there's something really intoxicating about that. There's something like we, we want to hope for those things. We want those things to happen. Uh, but reality is it, it rarely plays out that way. And, and because this is the messaging that this year things are going to be fixed, things are going to come together, family dinner's not going to have an explosive moment, these relationships that have been broken are going to be healed at the last moment, people are going to come home that hadn't been home for a while. There's literally something that exists now called the Christmas blues. It is a post-Christmas hangover where uh, after all the presents have been opened and the meal is over, there's a was that it kind of moment that, that literally people move into a season of depression uh, for a week or two after Christmas. And so, uh, men, we wanted to uh, write a book and just provide a resource to get underneath uh, really the Christmas season and, and grab hold of uh, the anchor of the season that really should help sustain us, not just through the season, but, but really throughout the years, our confidence is not in all of our dreams coming true on this morning, uh, but that there's a God who has put on flesh and dwelt among us. Uh, he has tabernacled among us. Uh, and so we wanted to write the book so that we might orient your heart in this season about the coming of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to take away the sins of the world and to camp around the idea in this season that he is with us even to this day and will be with us moving forward throughout the year.